Welcome back y'all to another episode. I'm heading to a place called Solimar, which is about uh, an hour from where I am right now. And um, heading that way. So uh, I found this, uh, There's a there was a tent for sale on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I contacted the seller and I asked uh, um, if they had if if they had the tent available still, as usual, as everybody always asks that question. But in this case, uh, I wanted to know. And uh, when I contacted the the seller, he she told me that it was sold. So, um, but then she said, uh, "But I do have a free one if you want it." And so I said, "Okay, yeah, I'll take a free one." <laughs> and uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's why we are doing this trip today. So yeah, I'll take a free tent. Um, my, uh, she said it needs like a roof or something on top uh, for for when it rains. So uh, I don't know. I might put a tarp or something, and uh, that way it's uh, waterproof or almost waterproof. But it hasn't been raining here for a long time, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue for my first uh, bike packing trip. Anyway. Um, here's a bike. I've done uh, quite a few repairs. Uh, it's almost ready to to go. The only thing I need to do is just wire the um, the uh, the cables for the, uh, uh, the front shifter. The back is all done. New chain, new crankset. Let me show you. I got sensor uh, shifters and. Uh, I'm amazed at the quality they they, they have. Um, for I mean, they are they are really cheap. This this shifter was about 13 bucks. <laughs> um, so I upgraded also the uh, the hub, uh, the uh, also the uh, pinions. Uh, so right now it's a nine by nine by eight. No, sorry, nine by uh, what, sorry, nine by three. So he can climb anything right now. And uh, yeah, I put this new handlebar. It's great for travel. I'm still got kind of getting used to it. It's kind of a, has a weird shape. And so when you go over bumps, I had to put my hands up here instead of down here um, as you get more leverage. So what else? I still need to put a new seat. Uh, I got a new one and just need to replace it. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, I think I'm ready to hopefully uh, pretty soon I'll be heading out to my first uh, bikepacking trip. So uh, with that said, uh, let's get going. I still have about an hour to go, so and it's a pretty hot day here. Okay, let's go. Yeah, check my previous episodes here. That building over there, the hotel, that's a classic. So what we're gonna do is go straight all the way from here, past that peninsula over there. And uh, we still have about, uh, I don't know, like 10 miles. It's so windy. Mountain videos usually windy. Let's 
quick as light A shadow moves In your eyes It's all in your eyes The endless sands Stretch far away I don't understand I don't understand We're in a dream We're in So I was given uh, instructions. Uh, I'll be heading there now. Um, so let's go. Now I'm trying to figure out what the GPS is gonna tell me. Goes toward Rambla General Liber Serenade, Rambla Tomas Moretta. Then turn right onto Rambla General Liber Serenade. Like we go straight and then left. Terrible instructions by the GPS as usual. I really hear it. Continue on Enrique Arrow for half a mile. I kinda like this neighborhood. It's pretty quiet. So would you live here? <laughs> Those clouds over there look like a fine rain later. In 800 feet, turn left on that. My bike sounds like electric, but it's actually not. I wish it was. It's the wide tires. Left on Avenida Eduardo Waiting further instructions, trying to figure out where this place is gonna be. The lady told me it's uh, near the park, which uh, which just passed. So there it is. Hola. <laughs> yeah, estoy wow. filmando. Está bien. Sí. Ok, le va a aparecer en YouTube. Oh, okay. <risa> es una, un agreso, ¿no? Sí. Mi hijo tenía una de esas. Ah, sí. <risa> ok, guys, so I got the tent. It's in really great shape. Uh, very kind people. And uh, so now. I'll be heading back to downtown. So, uh, not a bad trip. Bike seems to be running pretty well. I think I put uh, almost 15 miles on this trip so far. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about this little town. I wonder how much it cost 
take a wild guess. I don't know. House like this one, or like the one in the front, in front of us. 200k. Yeah. Maybe uh, 250, 300 maybe. Still far cheaper than what they cost in the States. Okie dokie. Oh yeah. Nice bike. That's what I need. Uh, actually, bicycle should do fine. Anyway, let's see what we do now. Head back, back home. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm gonna look for a place to stop and eat. Maybe I'll do a video on that before I end the, this uh, episode. So I'll see you on the next one, y'all.